Hello, my name is Saye, and I welcome you to this episode inspired by the 2019 Canada Blooms show and the beautiful designs I saw there. Canada Blooms is the largest flower and garden festival in Canada, held in mid-March each year in Toronto. I really like the floral design section where artists interpret specific themes with flowers. And this year, I was particularly drawn to the pavé section. Pavé means paved in French and is a style adapted from jewelry making. The goal is to use groupings of a flower for impact and to keep it all flat like pave stones. There were five entries in the pavé section and uh, they, were, they were all stunning. So the other day I got these beautiful flowers and um, I, I don't really have the space for a vase. I would love to have them on the dining table. So I thought the best way to uh, use them would be to um, have a pave design. Um, I'll show you what that is. For the container, I have a couple I can choose. So this is a rectangular bonsai container. It's nice, it's not that deep. Would look good. I have this, it came from a, some kind of a candy. It's a nice contrast for the inside and outside. And I have this circular one. I think this would look best in the middle of our dining table. But the second part is um, wet floral foam. And this is the one. And what this does is it holds the, it gives a place for the flowers to stay, keeps the stems in place, and it also gives them a water source. To cut the floral foam to size, we'll begin by measuring the inside of our container, or you can just simply mark it on a piece of paper and make sure that uh, you cut it to less than that because we want some space at the top. And I'll just use a regular knife to cut. It's really soft and you can just score it through and break it apart. Put your container on top and even with the knife you can just gently score and you'll see you can cut it really easily and if it doesn't fit you just have to trim a little bit off the bottom and just put it in next you'll have to make sure it's fully soaked it has to absorb a lot of water so we'll just let it sit in water while we prepare our flowers cutting the stems really short and um, putting them in groups and take care of everything, even the little buds. Um, at this point, I realized it would be really great if I had some something black and dark. And I remember that in the garden, I have black eyed Susan seed pots from last year that would act a really nice texture. Even using some, fall, uh, some of the fern, I'll start by gently laying out a pattern I use a chopstick to make a hole, cut the end to size, and squeeze it in. Mark, you can mark a pattern right on top of your foam. And your goal is to use up all your flowers, eh? So <laughs> you want to make sure you uh, come up with a design that uses them up. And here for the chrysanthemums, I'll try to put the small ones in the tight spaces and the larger ones where I have more space. That way I can tuck in the small ones in the corners. And um, finally, with the St. John Wort berries, they come in a variety of colors, but I, again, I try to keep them all uh, at the same level so it looks good. And just move stuff around as you see fit. And I'll put in my Black Eye Susan seed pods. I have a variety of sizes so I can place it. To fill that last bit, I'll try different things, but ultimately I decide on some reindeer moss, which looks pretty good. So we've used two types of chrysanthemum, carnation, the St. John wort berries, but the two things not in our uh, bouquet were the reindeer moss and the Blycat Susan seed pods. But since I have a little bit left over, to my surprise, I end up making a second one because I don't want to let the flowers go to waste. And it's a chance to make a really bold 
design again use your chopstick to uh, mark the location and it is a learning experience so even if it doesn't work out the first time you can switch things out and find a composition that works for you I even use all the little leftover blooms because it adds a really nice um, texture and I end up using every single flower so this one included the gerbera daisy some of the fern as well as the chrysanthemums a rose and I had carnations in two different locations and finally the alstroemeria which is the Peruvian lily and I even used the carnation and Peruvian lily buds well I hope that this segment has inspired you to create your own pave floral arrangement uh, if you liked what you saw um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. See you next time.